Hi, I'm Nicole Weinberger. I'm a sales manager at Mobile Fuse. We are an in-app mobile and CTV network reaching consumers in their most receptive moments. And I'm joined by Adam Arniger, and I'll let you introduce yourself and then we'll get we'll get going. Yeah, hi, I'm Adam Arniger. I'm the executive investment director at Wavemaker. Great. So I'll kick things off with a very top line overarching question. How do you approach your cross-channel marketing? There's so many investment buckets that you guys can make priority. How do you how do you prioritize and how do you approach that? It's an interesting question and one that we grapple with every day. Um, we are an audience-based agency where we look at audiences first. So it really starts with the audience, mm -hmm. um, data-led. We'll look at the audience. We take the our our client's business problem, um, really dig into the audience um, to understand. Uh, you know all of the touch points that they that uh, that our audiences are, are are interacting with and really start from there that's the foundation great and I was listening in on your panel before how where do you see the most room for investment opportunities you're talking a lot about the importance of CT CTV and OTT channels but then I heard you say that traditional media is still no, still out there think, is it listen, digital social yeah I think it's it's a combination I th think you know, f fragmentation in our in our industry is is so prevalent now more right. than ever. I used to have a chart that had you know five channels on it back in the late '90s, and now it's hundreds of channels sure. of of you know from you know audio to to video, etc., and everything in between. And so um, it, it's a it's a question that I think when. when we're following the data. We're following mm -hmm. the audience. It's like I said a minute ago, and so we're 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 going after those places, um, and we prioritize where the largest piece of that audience is, and and we work our way down, um, and it really depends on on said client's business objective, uh, for us to uh, for us to do that. Great. I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to ask you a little bit of a of a wider approach question. Um, and I know there's a panel on this right now with inclusivity and diversity. Such. Yeah. Impo such an important topic for the industry right now and the world really. How do you approach that from an investment perspective? Does that change your investment strategy at all? Do you? It, it, it doesn't. We're still we're still very much audience led, um, but what we do is here here at Group M and WaveMaker, mm -hmm. we've made a five percent pledge that's been in the in the in the press, uh -huh. um, and we want to be smart about that pledge. Um, and go after the audiences um, and the tactics within those within those audiences. So it really doesn't change, you know, what what we're doing. Um, we we're we're gonna we're gonna, as they say, fish where the fish are biting. Right. And and those audiences are are are, are pretty uh, broad and and big uh, when you when you start to dig into them. Now we can. Be very tactical within those uh, those audiences to reach those uh, uh, diverse diverse audiences. Great. Um, another big topic in the industry right now is sustainability and climate change, and how the advertising industry yep. is really a big part of that uh, conversation right now. So, does that impact any of your investments that you're making at, at a Group M? Um, I think we 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 certainly take it into consideration. Okay. Um, it's one of those that at, at Group M is a big priority for, uh, you know, for us. So everything, every partner that we look at, mm -hmm. that's a piece of it. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's a little bit easier said than done. Sure. Um, so we're still kind of uh, working through what that looks like. Um, but it is a it is a priority for the group, um, and all and all, all three of our, the agencies and. You know, we dig into it with each and every one of our partners, very much like uh, diversity. Great. And I'm going to end on a, a little bit of a of a fun question for you. Sure. What are there or are there any brands out there that are inspiring you right now? Or you're like, wow, they're doing something really cool, like in the marketplace. I wish I was a part of that. Like, what's out there that it, is wow to you? It's <laughs> it's. Um, you know, there's a there's a few. I thought the the one that got me recently was. Um, a Chevy ad okay. um, that that came out that was pushed out on social as well as as well as television um, that talked about the holidays and a and it had a grandmother in it and was really real real tear, yeah. tear jerker so that that was one and I have to tell you like I was flying a couple weeks ago 
um, and got off the plane at Terminal A at Newark, mm -hmm. and I walked out, and there was my client Audible with our out of home campaign in Newark Airport with a with a takeover. Um, every two minutes, the, the Audible came through. So I really like what we're, we're doing on that piece of business. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Adam. I really appreciate thank you. it. That's all I got for today. Yeah, perfect. So really good to talk to you. Thank you. Bye.